Hi hey everyone, this is Paolo. Welcome to just another dang how to channel. So on this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to set up WordPress on Google Cloud Compute. So first thing you need is a Google account. So you can sign up for that for free and then head over to um, cloud.google.com to land on their website. And then from here, you can start your free trial. Note that the free trial is only for doesn't work for business accounts as far as I know so click on that uh, try it now fill in your country and accept these terms and conditions and one thing to note is this free trial uh, offers you $300 credit and good for 12 months. So fill in your details, put in your uh, business name, your address, and at the bottom section, you need to fill in your credit card. So you won't be charged for this. This is just uh, author authorization and verification that you're not a bot. Once you're all done, click on start my free trial. So I already have a, an account. So I'm going to skip that and show you my dashboard for current uh, account that I have. So I'm going to start a new project by clicking on this drop down icon. Click on the right and give this new project a name. that and this may take a while as you can see there's a spinner icon there indicating that something's happening so this is creating that new project once that project is created I'll jump back in again all right so our project has been created so click on that and it would bring you to your dashboard from here you can see your project name some of the compute engine details uh, you could move this around if you like. I want to keep it as is and some more options on the graph later if there's some data. Like you could check for the network and this input output. So let's jump to the project. Click on the hamburger icon menu there and launch the cloud launcher. So what the cloud launcher does is it looks into all the pre-packaged software available so you don't have to build them your own there's already pre-packaged so let me search for WordPress and as you can see there's several results and all are configured differently uh, let me click on this WordPress one just to show the difference uh, don't worry about the pricing. That's just their estimate cost. And if you check on the right bottom right, this is the breakdown of that one. So it's using uh, this settings and this instance and this CPU. Um, and if I jump on the right section, more details on this. As you can see that it's using, it's going to install this software version, Apache, MySQL, and PHP 5.6.30, which I don't want. I'd rather prefer the PHP 7. So let me go back to my search results. What I'm most interested at is this WordPress certified by Bitnami. Again, if you see at the bottom left there's more options for the software and they're installing PHP 7 which is what I want and same at the bottom right the breakdown of the pricing so click launch on this to start creating the deployment package so again this would take a while after the deployment package is created we need to actually click on deploy and deploy that to our instance all right, so we have the package ready to be installed, but let's quickly check on the package. So obviously you could change the uh, development name, the deployment name, and for the zone, you could change the zone to your preference. I'm going to keep the default. I'm going to keep the instance to the F1 micro, which is the smaller one, which is 0.6 gigabytes memory. 
and what else? I'm gonna change the this from persistent to SSP. So SSP is more efficient, it has better read input and output. So I change that and I'm gonna change to 30, which is still on the free tier for the storage. And let me see, didn't specify anything else for networking, so keep that default even for the firewall. And if click on show less, uh, external IP right now, I think the only option is ephemeral. I'm going to change that to static later. So this would mean that if you restart this instance, you'll still keep the IP. So once all are good, uh, click on the deploy button. It's going to install all this software. Um, again, this would take a while. It's going to install, it's going to run some script and then install the software. So the deployment is finished. Uh, you have an overview of what happened. And at the right, uh, you have the new IP and uh, you also have a link to the admin section. I'm going to click on that, open it up, and at the lower bit, you have a username and a temporary password. Temporary password is used for logging into WordPress and logging into your MySQL. So I'm going to show you how to change that for the WordPress one. And on another tutorial, I'll teach you how to change it for the MySQL. So log into your WordPress admin and let me check settings. Oh, actually, it's on the user. Click on the user, click on edit and scroll down below. You could generate another password and use that instead. And that should be it to update the password on this WordPress install. So let's quickly check on this blog. What's up with the WordPress install? So, all right, so it, it installed this theme and we'll just update it later. Cool, so let's jump back to the dashboard or to our uh, Google Cloud and there's some documentation here which I'll go through. So we'll start checking how to log into SSH. Uh, um, there's also a cool feature here where you could log into SSH using the browser so you don't need to use your uh, client your terminal so from here it's going to log uh, log into that instance so it might take a while I'm just going to quickly show you Cool, so I'm logged into that instance. Um, let's see, who's the user? I think it's Olapsman, that would be my username. Let me try a who am I, just to verify. Cool, so Olapsman is my username. Um, later when we do the SSH, you would see that the username is Bitnami, but that's for another tutorial, so don't worry about it now. So let me close this out. Um, let's go back to the Google Cloud platform, uh, click on the hamburger menu and let's check the IP address again. So click on Google Cloud Compute, Google Engine and you can see that the external IP is this one. So let's jump into the VPC network to change that. Um, click back on the hamburger menu icon and click on the VPC network and then click on external IP address and from there we could change it to ephemeral to static. Cool, so give that reserved name uh, 
just some label. Um, make sure it's lowercase. Yep. And click reserve, and that should be it. So if ever something happens to your instance, you reboot, uh, you won't lose the IP address. And we could use this later to set up your domain. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, if you like it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. More videos to come. Cheers. Bye for now.